What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Breaking news, Bill Vermont has been elected to continue his reign as chairman of World Rugby. There's been a big debate over who should get it between Augustin Bischoff, who was his vice chairman, or Bill Vermont to continue and it looks like Augustin has um, congratulated him on a Twitter I've just read and it looks like Bill Vermont has indeed won the vote. It has been rumoured for weeks that he's going to get it because of the favour of Europe nations. We know that there was a talk recently about Germany not getting a fair debate in on the matter, but Europe went ahead with the vote and went towards Bill Vermont. We know the Six Nations team supported Bill as well. There was a big talk during this past week that Ireland and Wales would go ahead for um, Augustine Bischot, but that doesn't seem to be the case as Wales put their vote towards Bill Bermont. He obviously gave them a lot of promises that they liked and have gone with him. Bill Bermont obviously was, became the world chairman in 2016 and is now going for another four years, 2020 to 2024. He's got a massive task ahead of him as we need to rebuild, regroup and restructure world rugby. He claims that if selected, which he now has been, he will open the floodgates of rugby and do the necessary changes in order to bring the sport back to the fans. Do I believe him? I'm not too sure because I just haven't seen any improvement over the past four years. We've been longing as fans, we've been talking about Provincial World Cup, we've been longing for the big games between the North and the South, more rivalries. We've been longing for a Southern Hemisphere Lions team. We've been longing for international tours to return back to the sport. Nothing has been done. All talk, but nothing really has been put to paper as of yet. World Nations Championship was a talk that was thrown away. So what he has to do now is really take this on because if he doesn't, he's going to get a lot of hate in the sport. I mean, we're seeing a financial... Um, drama situations within all the nations due to not enough people watching games at live stadiums. Why is that the case? Because people are bored seeing the same thing. They want to change. They want the support to come back to the fans. And if Bill can do it, well, good for him. I support him if he can. Augustine has congratulated him, and the reason why I was backing him is because he was going to bring the game back to the fans. He was going to include more of the Pacific Island teams, the Tier 2 nations like Georgia, who have really been shining for the past few years. We were going to see changes that brings more international contests. There was rumor talk of Club Rugby World Cups. There was more investments being brought into the different um, nations around the world in order to educate people on the game of rugby. So he had a lot. Again, it's all political talk. We never know what would actually happen and with the limits that currently go ahead, what you are or are not allowed to do. So a lot has been talked, but I did believe that change was needed and Augustine Pichot would have brought that change. Um, I do, however, feel that going into the situation of the next door or Bill being stayed on as chairman, I feel we're going to see the same thing over and over again. Um, what needs to be done is more focus needs to be put on the South we need to figure out what the hell we're going to do with South Africa, whether it's Southern Hemisphere based or Northern Hemisphere based. We need to bring in the Pacific Island teams. We need to put more rugby into Japan. We need to increase the matter of getting the sport out there so we can get more investments and more money in the sport like we see in football. This guy needs to do that job, and I hope he can. Um, there's a big age difference. I felt Augustine could have grown into this position more and more and brought more positivity to the sport, but unfortunately, that's not the case. So, the latest news is Augustine Bishot on Twitter has congratulated Bill and he says, not this time, thanks for the support from the bottom of his heart and then hashtag global game. So there you have it, breaking news, Bill Vermont is still the chairman of World Rugby. What he will have to do going forward, we'll have to wait and see. We're in the biggest pandemic of our lifetime at this stage and now is the time to reshape and shake up world rugby. I salute you, Augustine, and I wish you all the best, and I hope you're still involved in rugby, because I do feel the future is indeed you, and I do hope that you get another shot at this in the next four years. Bob Vermont, I wish you all the best, and I hope 
that you can change the game and uh, stick to the promises that you've given the people and the nations. And don't favor just Europe. Favor each hemisphere equally. We need to develop the game equally and we need to change the sport as a whole to benefit every single nation playing rugby. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and join me in roughly less, less than two hours for my stream. I'm changing it. We're talking about this, so let's debate it. Join me on the stream later tonight in less than about two hours. Opera 6 Central African time. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.